This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Alessa with WDWNT.com. Please like this video, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell to make sure you never miss the latest from Disney theme parks around the world. Here is now the news for April 10th, 2023. The annual Easter pre-parade has stepped off at Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World this weekend, performing approximately 15 minutes before the Festival of Fantasy Parade. The pre-parade is about four minutes long and is unchanged from last year. After the banna, Fantasia hippos and ostriches kick off the parade. The gazebos float carries Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny. There are a lot of fun characters like Clara Cluck and the parade definitely brings in a crowd. If you want to check it out, we have the full video on our channel. The Disney 100 Decades 1930s collection Snow White Mini Ear Headband has arrived at Big Top Souvenirs in Magic Kingdom. Disney is now in the midst of celebrating 100 years of the Walt Disney Company. As part of the special merchandise release for this event, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Mini Ear Headbands were released as part of the Decades Collection, representing the 1930s with a special plaque attached to one side of the headband. These mini ears are $39.99 and feature a newly imagined artistic representation of Snow White, her forest, animals, and the evil queen on the backside. Iridescent sequins cover the ears, giving the piece a little extra sparkle. In addition to the Snow White mini ears headband, the 1930s collection also honors the band concert and other early animations with a lounge fly backpack, plush, and more, all of which you can check out on our website. Speaking of merchandise, over at the Emporium on Main Street USA in Magic Kingdom, an Oswald the Lucky Rabbit jersey is now available. This new offering arrives as the full Disney 100 Oswald collection is now available in the parks. This new shirt consists of alternating blue and white stripes with Oswald himself on the top right and his namesake emblazoned on the chest. The back features the same stripes with our Lucky Rabbit apparently ripping through the shirt to poke his head out from the number 27. 1927 was the year in which Oswald the Lucky Rabbit debuted to the world, first appearing in the short Trolley Troubles. It's being sold for $59.99. Last year at Star Wars Celebration, it was announced that Star Tours would receive new destinations in the future. Now it has been announced that at this year's Star Wars Celebration that the ride will indeed be updated with locations we have not yet seen in the Star Wars galaxy. The new locations will debut in 2024 at Disneyland Park in California, Disney's Hollywood Studios in Florida, and Disneyland Paris in France. The Disney Parks blog released their own announcement for this attraction update, though greater specifics on where we'll exactly be going on our upcoming Star Tours flights aren't available just yet. Personally, I get motion sick on this ride at all times, but I am willing to ride it again if we see these changes once they come. This is a developing story, so stay tuned for more updates. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsors, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest Vacations and their concierge team of expert travel planners. Head over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT and the team will design your next magical vacation. From Disney World to Disney Cruise Line, Adventures by Disney and more. The best part of their concierge service is that it is 100% free. During the Disney Parks panel at Star Wars Celebration Europe, Imagineer Scott Trowbridge teased new characters coming to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Though the panelists could not confirm who would be appearing, it was hinted to be related to upcoming media. It's possible characters from Ahsoka, The Skeleton Crew, or other new Disney Plus original series may visit Black Spire Outpost. In the past, new characters only appeared at Disneyland Park, but recently The Mandalorian and Grogu were added to Disney's Hollywood Studios. The pair also made a brief appearance in Disneyland Paris. Boba Fett and Fennec Shan were mentioned in the panel, but so far they've only appeared in Disneyland. It's possible they may be added to Disney's Hollywood Studios as well. A Florida man who said he was a registered nurse threatened Orange County Sheriff deputies as he was arrested following a drunken scene at Disney Springs. Edward Stevenson, 30, of Brandon pleaded not guilty in March to trespass according to Orange Circuit Court records. It took three deputies to place his arms behind his back and secure him, Orange County Sheriff's arrest report said. When secured, he continued to tell deputies that he was going to sue the deputies. Mr. Stevenson also advised he was a registered nurse and told deputies, we better hope he is never our nurse in an emergency room. The incident occurred on January 15th. The sheriff's office released the public document two months later. 
Stevenson attracted law enforcement's attention because he was being belligerent and cursing at in front of children, the arrest report said. He was reported making inappropriate comments to juveniles at Once Upon a Toy and visited several stores at Disney Springs. Disney security asked Stevenson to leave, but then he turned his anger on the security employees, swearing at them and making derogatory comments. Disney wanted Stevenson trespassed. Not surprised. <laughs> Refurbishments appear to be underway at the Boathouse restaurant in Disney Springs. We've come a long way since this popular dining spot initially reopened to guests after the COVID-19 pandemic closures, though various enhancements and repairs are bound to happen over time. This restaurant, famous for its Ampicar tours and sing-along brunches, seems to have some minor work underway on its exterior. We noticed the area of the deck is undergoing some sort of refurbishment with tarps, planks of wood, and various equipment resting against the wall. This whole portion of the dock is boarded up and partitioned from guests with a sign reading, pardon our dust while we craft a new experience for you. Vintage images of old boat styles and posters promoting the Ampicar tours still sit on either side. As part of the 40th anniversary celebration underway across the Tokyo Disney Resort, a new Disney Harmony and Color Daytime Parade debuted yesterday. The new daytime offering features seven units with floats honoring Zootopia, Up, Moana, Coco, Big Hero 6, and more. Tinkerbell leads the way at Tokyo Disneyland as part of this new daytime parade. Dancers in colorful costumes accompany Tinkerbell as she appears atop the float, leading the parade's first unit to a world of colorful dreams. The parade looks amazing and the floats are stunning. Personally, I am not over the fact that Rapunzel swings around her tower from her hair like Tarzan. You can check out the whole video on our channel. Guests looking for the best views of this new parade may want to consider purchase Premier Access Seating, announced as a new offering across the Tokyo Disney Resort. If you're a Tiki fan, you're in luck. Beeline Creative has a new line of Disney Tiki mugs inspired by classic characters like Mickey, Minnie, Stitch, and more. These geek tikis feature Simba, Timon, Pumbaa, Sally, Jack Skellington, Lilo, Stitch, Minnie, and Mickey. They're all available for pre-order right now on tonic.com for $32.99 each. Tonic is excited to announce their latest geeky tiki release, which focuses on a wide range of classic and beloved characters from the wonderful world of Disney. These creative, colorful drinkware products combine some of Disney's most popular characters with geeky tiki signature Polynesian tiki styling. These officially licensed tiki mugs from the manufacturer Beeline Creative are sure to bring the magic into your home. Disney has announced the new Street Food Fusion Disney Munchling series coming to Shop Disney and Disney Parks on April 10th. They also shared the backstory of the Disney Munchlings collection. As story has it, one day when the sun set on Main Street USA, master baker Pierre Dumonet was adding final touches to his sweet creations. As he hung his apron and left the bakery, Pierre accidentally closed the door a little too hard, causing several jars and bottles to topple over. A small bottle of magic spilled out on his delicious concoctions below, creating the Disney Munchlings. Disney Munchlings are scented plush inspired by classic Disney characters and food. The first series was released in September 2022, including a large plush and small mystery plush. Since then, there have been special holiday munchlings, new series of plush inspired by different food groups, and actual edible treats inspired by munchlings. The new street food fusion mystery plush line includes the mini mouse pepperoni pizza with Parmesan cheese, pearl mochi beignet sundae and cereal sprinkles, and Dante Mexican hot chocolate and cinnamon. There is also a secret unannounced mystery plush. The 18-inch medium-sized plush are Chip and Dale falafel pita pockets and the Squirt Concha Bread ice cream sandwich. Orange Bird Citrus Infused Cupcake will also be released soon to Shop Disney. It was first released exclusively at the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. For the absolute latest on these stories and all those that didn't make it to today's show, be sure to check out WDWNT.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. You can support the entire team behind the show and others by joining WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted shows and event tickets and more. A special shout out to all the WIGS members watching who make this show happen every week. 
For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Alessa saying enjoy the rest of your day and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye. Now on WWNT-TV, it's Boxed In. Boxed In is a casually chaotic show featuring WWNT personalities Eric Morton and Jill Divendahl, unboxing Disney merchandise and viewer packages along with a few friends and a bossy little Pomeranian. So smash that like button, subscribe and comment and keep up with the new Disney merchandise releases, seasonal releases, festival merchandise, limited edition merchandise, wishables, pins, and more. Join us Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern on WWNT-TV.